guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to buy your very first designer handbag. I get this question all the time in the comments, you know, my advice, any tips, any suggestions, what my thoughts are. And so over the past, you know, few weeks, I guess, I've been thinking about doing this video and I've actually been compiling a list. So here's my notes. And I'm gonna go over tips and strategies that I have for anybody that is looking to purchase their very first designer handbag. So if you are new to my channel, then hello, my name is Shay, and I would love for you to subscribe down below by hitting that subscribe button. I usually put out at least two videos every week, luxury, fashion, beauty, sometimes lifestyle, and I would love to have you back. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And just super quickly, if you notice, this is a brand new Miranda Fry necklace, and I am in love with it. It seriously goes with so many things, so I, I get a lot of questions about my jewelry, so I did just want to mention that that is the Miranda Fry necklace. I'll have it linked down below, and she actually gave me a discount code for you guys because I did a video on my favorites a while back and she really liked that video so she actually gave me a discount code so super excited about that but it is just Shay like my name so if you guys do want to use that great you actually will save 10% and it will be free US shipping so just FYI okay so the very first tip that I have is to just narrow down which designer you want to purchase from so for me, I personally love Louis Vuitton and I love Chanel. You obviously do not need to pick those designers. I do think those particular ones, Louis Vuitton and Chanel, are kind of like the quintessential designers out there. There's also Hermes. I think, you know, those three are kind of like the big three designers. And, you know, Hermes is a little bit above my price point at the moment. A lot of, a lot above. Um, I have some of their, you know, lower pieces, but as far as their bags, not even considering that right now. So I love Louis Vuitton and I love Chanel. I love that they're kind of investment pieces and the fact that if you do purchase something from them, um, if you go to resell it, you have a very good resale value out of them, which is amazing. Um, you obviously could go for some lower level designers, which are still amazing. Um, I'd, say, I'd say Gucci is a little bit lower. They're still great. There's Dior, um, Saint Laurent, Valentino. Uh, there's, you know, I'm sure you guys, if you're watching this video, you know of the designers. I don't need to go over all of them. Um, and then there's obviously there's the contemporary designers, which would be like Tory Burch, Coach, Kate Spade, those that genre as well. So I, I do love a lot of different designers, but my heart kind of lies with Louis Vuitton and Chanel. So I guess that's where I think everybody should start. They should kind of narrow down which designer they're going to purchase from. The next thing would be to pick a style of bag that you love. And I personally recommend that you do go for a classic piece for your very first designer bag. So for Louis Vuitton, that would be the Neverfull maybe the Speedy. I have some eye candy for you guys, even though if you've watched my channel, you've seen these pieces before. But here's the Neverfull. I love the GM size. A lot of people really love the MM size. That's more of the medium. This is the large and it's the GM. I think this is an excellent starter piece. And then I do have the Louis Vuitton Speedy and mine is in the 30 and I do have the bandolier. I don't have it attached right now, but if you get the Speedy, highly recommend the bandolier because that strap makes it so much more versatile. Um, so I highly recommend this. If you think the size 30 or 35 is a little bit too big, then you could go for the Speedy 25, which here's the 25, it is a little bit smaller. So I guess it kind of depends on your body frame and what you like the most and how much you want to fit in your bag. If you are more of a crossbody person, you could go for the Louis Vuitton Favorite, and this is the MM. I love this bag as well, and obviously it doesn't fit as much as the other bags that I just showed you, but some people love being hands-free and love having a crossbody bag, so I definitely love this one. Also recommend the Pochette Matisse, um, that's not as much of a classic yet. I think it might turn into a classic, um, but for right now, I can't really tell if it's kind of more trendy or not, but I do have that bag and I love it. And then also here is the Chanel Mini. I've showed this before many times. Um, and I think this is kind of, you know, a classic crossbody bag if you're looking for a Chanel piece. Obviously, Chanel has some other classic bags which are amazing and I am hoping to, you know, kind of incorporate those into my collection very soon, but that would be the Chanel Classic Flap. I would say the classic jumbo size is the most loved in the Chanel world and then obviously the boy bag the Chanel boy bag is very very popular and I also think that is a very very classic piece to have so again I would probably pick a classic style like what I mentioned um, obviously there's Louis Vuitton Alma there's a lot of different ones but maybe just avoid the trend and that's what I kind of think people should do for their very first designer bag because you don't know if you're going to love it or not like you think you'll love it but you don't really know until you actually buy it so 
Again, that's kind of why I do recommend more classic pieces and maybe a brand that kind of is a good resale value so that if you do want to sell it in the end because you don't like it and it's not what you expected, it's easy to let go of it and somebody else will be right there to purchase it, you know, waiting for you. Obviously Gucci, I love Gucci, but I, I really do think that they're kind of blowing up right now. I think the brand necessarily isn't on trend. Well, it kind of is, but a lot of their bags I think are pretty trendy right now. So I might avoid that if it's your first designer bag. And I would kind of also avoid something really flashy and really, really colorful. I would probably go for neutral colors. So if it is Louis Vuitton, I might get the monogram print. That is a very, very classic print. A lot of people love it. If you don't love it, maybe you think it's a little bit too flashy with the logos. You could get the Abin print. I also love it. This is their original, the very, very first print that they ever came out with. So I think, you know, there's something to be said for that as well. And I love the pop of red inside. As for Chanel, I absolutely love the lambskin. I think a lot of people are scared of it. I'm personally not. I think it's very, very luxurious. However, I think it's not as easy to resell lambskin as it is caviar. So maybe for your first one, maybe go for caviar. I actually think for my next bag, I am gonna be going for caviar. A lot of people love black, but if you don't love black, maybe you could go for a beige or something neutral. Again, neutral kind of goes with the most outfits. So if it's your very first bag, you're obviously gonna be wanting to wear it as much as you can and you know really get a lot of wear out of it. So I think neutral is the best way to go. And you need to decide what you're gonna carry it for. So for instance, instance, are you somebody that really likes to carry a lot of stuff with them? Or are you somebody that's more minimal and you kind of just like to carry your basic necessities? So, you know, you got to decide the size of the bag. So once you put kind of those two pieces together, you know, the style versus what you're looking for in a bag, you kind of mold those together. And then I think that will kind of narrow down your options of what kind of bag you want, whether it be speedy, never full, classic flap. Um, obviously it doesn't have to be these particular designers. Um, but I just think that's where everybody needs to start. I get a lot of questions like all the time about their first bag being either the Neverfull or the Speedy. And I do have a video all about that and I'll link it down below, but I just feel like those bags are completely different. And then they'll ask about maybe the favorite or a crossbody bag. And I just think, you know, all of these bags are very, very different. So you just need to decide what you like in a bag and what you think you'll carry the most. Like when you're done getting dressed every day and you want to reach for a bag, do you want a big bag or do you want a small bag? Do you want a bag that's you know very structured or do you want more of a slouchy bag? So it just kind of depends on what you want and what you think you'll grab the very most. The next tip I have is to do your research. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably already doing research and that's awesome. I think there are two different ways that I think are kind of like the best research. The first would be seeing it in store. Now, I live in a place, I live in Pittsburgh, so there are some designer stores like Louis Vuitton, and you know, we have like Tory Burch, uh, Michael Kors, you know, we have like, we have some, but we don't have that much. Like I do not have a Chanel, I do not have a Gucci, I do not have a Valentino. Like there's, you know, there's certain places that I would love to have in my city, but I just don't. So if it's Louis Vuitton, I definitely always go to the store. I see it in person. I see it in person maybe more than one time. And I, you know, over time, I kind of develop my thoughts and decide if I really do want to make the purchase. Now, if it's something like Chanel, that is a lot harder for me because unless I am on a trip or something and there's a Chanel store somewhere, I can't see it in person. And half the time I'll go into a Chanel store and the, the bag that I want to see isn't even there because obviously, you know, you guys probably know their inventory is very, very limited and it's kind of hard to get your hands on certain pieces. So in those situations, obviously I'm doing YouTube. YouTube is amazing. That is what started this whole thing for me as I, you know, started looking up videos on YouTube. And I watch as many videos as I can. I get a lot of different perspectives. Most people say something totally different. So, you know, even though I might see one review on a bag, I'll watch a different review on the exact same bag to kind of get different perspectives. I also think it's awesome to look on Instagram and even some style blogs because even though you can't like see them talking to you like YouTube, you still, you know, get to see different like outfit pictures with it, different angles of the bag, you know, how they style it. And that also gets me my, you know, my brain churning of whether I think that would be a good fit in my lifestyle. The next tip I have is decide if you want to do brand new or pre-loved. 
Now, I am an advocate for both. I love brand new pieces and I love getting pre-loved pieces. So my recommendations for that is if you're gonna get it brand new, try your hardest, if you can and it's in your city, try to get it brand new in the store. That way you can look it over, you can inspect it, you can make sure that everything looks perfect and you get the experience because you all know that you know these are very, very high priced items and so you might as well get a really good, fun experience you know, going into the store and you know, just being kind of treated really well and just the luxurious experience that comes with buying a designer handbag. But if you're not getting something from Louis Vuitton or Chanel, like maybe you're getting something from Gucci, Tory Burch, Balenciaga, Chloe, you know, places that you can actually get them at Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom or Saks Fifth Avenue. If you go on their website, the thing that I love about those particular brands and those handbags are you can get crazy sales and Louis Vuitton and Chanel do not have sales. So um, make sure you sign up for Ebates. Now I've talked about Ebates before, but I'm telling you when you're buying a, your very first designer handbag or any handbag for that matter, and you can get it through Neiman Marcus or Nordstrom or Saks Fifth Avenue, you can save so much money through Ebates because they usually have at least like four, eight, 12 percent cash back. And so when you're spending like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands of dollars on a handbag, that percentage is a huge amount back. So I definitely recommend signing up for Ebates. I'll have it linked down below. Most of you probably already signed up for it and use it, but if not, again, I just wanna push it because it really has saved me a lot of money. Now, if you are going for something pre-loved, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I would say half of my collection is pre-loved. Now, some people get you know really pristine mint condition pre-loved items, others get stuff with some nicks on it, some scratches, and I think both are, you know, fine. Me personally, if I'm getting something pre-loved, I try to get it in as best possible, excellent condition as I can, and I try and save the most money at the same time. It's kind of like a little challenge for me. So I recommend highly, and I, again, I feel like I'm just kind of repeating myself. I highly recommend Chanel Addicts on Facebook. It's a group where you can sell and buy pre-loved Chanel items. And then I also recommend the Louis Vuitton Addicted Facebook group as well. Just search those names in Facebook and ask to join. And then within a few days, they'll, they'll accept you and everything. And then you can go on and you can see some really amazing pieces. There's excellent people in there that are so knowledgeable. And I really trust the people in there. Um, they're just kind of always scouring to make sure there's no fakes or scams or whatever. So I do my research for sure to make sure the pieces look good, but for the most part, I think everything, my experiences just have been really, really good. And you can really save like hundreds of dollars on these items and they're like in excellent brand new condition. You know, a lot of times they still come with the receipt, the, the bag, the box, like everything as if you got it brand new. If you don't wanna be a part of the Facebook groups, maybe you don't have Facebook, um, I highly recommend Fashion File, Yogi's Closet, Trade Z, um, Vestiaire Collective. There's all kinds of different, um, you know, resale sites out there that I think are really great and the authenticity is guaranteed. Finally, the last tip that I have is probably a little bit wishy-washy and maybe you guys won't like this tip, but I just think that it really kind of is essential is it's just to follow your heart. But I've been going through all of these tips like go for the classic style, go for neutral colors, um, I really like Louis Vuitton and I really like Chanel. Like what you need to do is seriously just follow your heart. Like if there is a bag, whether it be trendy or not, maybe it's classic, maybe it's trendy, but if there is a bag that has just been on your mind for months and months and months and you can't get it out of your head and you just love it so much and you just think to yourself that if you had this bag, you would just it would just be so special to you. And if that's the case, Follow your heart and just buy that bag. Who cares if it's trendy? Who cares if it's classic? It doesn't matter what other people think. Maybe in a year it'll be out of style, but it will always be special to you and it will be your first designer bag and it will make you happy. So I just, I don't know, like I think there's something to be said for going for, you know, neutral classic things to kind of stand, withstand the test of time. Like there's something special about that too. But at the same token, I think it's really important to just follow your heart and if there is just something that you, you just love so much, just buy that bag and I think honestly you'll be happier that route than everything that I just said. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, I would love to try and answer them. I'll be kind of monitoring the comments here and, and really trying to give you some advice if you have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you are not subscribed, then I would love for you to consider doing that down below. I'd love to have you back. Thank you again and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.